everyone welcome to stamping flair for my creative escape on a wednesday night each week it has been a couple of weeks since i've come to your live so i hope um you have had a great christmas and uh, thanks for joining me today uh, please bear with me while i check through that everything is going through okay and please introduce yourself to me and uh, say hi to me hope um, you've been having a great break or a few days if you have some time off work and have enjoyed some family time um, it's been good uh, i'm on holidays at the moment so i have been having a break from uh, crafting as such um, as well so I've, i have been a bit quiet but um uh, i thought i'd jump on today to share with you some of my favorites that are retiring now i just wanted to say that i have been online and i've checked what is available at the moment from our last chance items so i have worked my projects around what is there at the moment those products are available until the 3rd of january or while supplies last so these are the products from the mini catalog that are retiring i am combining it with other products but so if there are if there is anything that you like jump on it straight away so it's because it is only while supplies last so although it says 3rd of january if it runs out it runs out on the 4th of january we've got a brand new catalog coming out which you, if you are on my mailing list or if you have purchased from me in the past you would have may have received it already or it may be on your on the way to you if you would like to receive a catalog please just um comment leave a comment for me and i will uh just pm me for your address um just um and if you're unsure whether you are on my mailing list as well just contact me and i will send you a copy of our catalog now this is the catalog i'm just trying to get that that's the lighting's a bit tough there all right that's the catalog uh which is coming out um it's 90 it's i'm called a mini catalog but there's about 90 pages there so lots of lovely product um the in conjunction with that catalog there is what we call celebration so this catalog runs till june the cele celebration runs january 4th to february 28th celebration is our biggest sale where we, it's a separate little catalog where you get every product in it is free so for every 90 dollars you spend on an order you will get free product sorry just bear with me um so you will get a free product so just um with your orders try and mu multiply them in order my well, or add them in sections of 90 so you get a free product so there is no limit to how many free products you can get so celebration starts on the 4th of january i will give you more information closer to that time which is just next week but just to get on with our products today all my i'm having four cards i'm sharing with you today including a fun fold so it is a class that I, i'm doing today it is um how I would run a class at my home um, if you came in for a workshop. So if you place an order of $60 today, you can get um, all the materials to make the cards in the sense of the cardstock and the embellishments to go with it. Now, subject to what is available i may substitute the designer series paper and some of the embellishments but you will get your cardstock envelopes and everything sent out to you uh, free with a 60 dollar order uh, place between today and sunday so i um bear that in mind this um as you watch this class if you have anyone you'd like to share this class with please feel free to do that as well and they too can get take advantage of the special today any orders of a hundred dollars i will also send a pack of embellishments along with your order so i'll just turn the camera around and um there are 
a few stamp sets that I had from what's available. I didn't have all of them and I thought I'll share with you with what I had. So the first one I have is the Delivering Cheer stamp set, which is retiring. And I absolutely love this stamp set. Um, this is, although it is very Christmassy, you can adjust, uh, alter it and change it up. And so my cards today are not Christmas. I think uh, we may be a little bit over the Christmas cards. Although I had someone order um, products to make Christmas cards today from me. So uh, never too early to start for next year. Because I can tell you I was running around like a headless jerk making Christmas cards as usual. Um, okay um so what we've got what i've got for you is um what i thought i'll do is uh, create this um i've got a piece uh basic white card stock just bear with me um and i've also got a piece of scrap now this is just um which i'm gonna stamp my um the girl on so this is two step stamping in the sense of there's two portions. It, um, I am not sure why this is giving you sub, subtitles, but anyway. Are you seeing the subtitles? You must be seeing the subtitles on your screen. Let me know. Um, and I'm not sure how to turn them off. Well, it's not such a bad thing, anyway, as long as it's giving you the right thing. Anyway, so, I'll show you how I created it, and then um, we'll work along that. So, this is the bottom portion which I am stamping in tuxedo black. And then I picked the image with the books, oh, not the books, the presents easily mistaken for books and you could swap them around for books and I did contemplate that and um, but if you take that present off and you could put some writing in there and it'll be a book I don't know how straight I'll, straight I'll be there I didn't think I would be let me get my head right over that image. So, sorry, my head's in the way. I'm trying to get this, but this is just a sample to show you what how I did it. So this is our first card, and for all the cards, I'm going to be using the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. That is down to $10 a pack. It was originally $20 um, for a pack. So I'm going to cut that out. Just, and I would be fussy cutting that, but to save me some time, I pre-did it and fussy cut that. The next thing I'm going to do is take a Misty Moonlight Stamping Right marker and um, I'm cutting a portion for the skirt. Now I'm creating some a little pattern on it, so like polka dots. You can stamp your skirt first if you wanted to. I prefer to do this on only because it gives you a more random pattern than once you do this once you stamp the skirt you tend to put your dots within that skirt whereas here you will get a more random pattern you can see it's just a very rough in dots that i've got there i'm gonna take my stamp I'll get a piece of scrap paper. I've got some grid paper here. If you haven't um, got grid paper, it's really handy because it's got your measurements in inches on one side if that's what you're used to and centimeters 
on the other so always good so I've just stamping the skirt again in misty moonlight I'll fussy cut that and I'm fussy cutting close to that edge I think I worked out how to get yeah, I did. Okay, got rid of the closed captions. That is good. I must have pressed sometimes I must press some buttons and things happen. Which I have no idea how I do it. Oh no, I haven't. Anyway, never mind. So this is just basic, like I've re-stamped this, and cutting it out, it's, fa it's fairly easy to cut this out, just use your paper snips, and you go. Now what I'll do now is going to get my born folder, and just try to give a bit of a curve in that skirt just some um, so just use your bone folder and give a little bit of just gently um, um, arrange that Now what I'll do, I'll take my piece which um, I have fussy cut and then I'll be, um, I'll use dimensionals to stick that down. I've got a piece of the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper and we are going to stick that down. So this is 9.3 by 13.6 and the uh, Petal pink is 9.7 by 14. And I'll stick that down on our basic white uh, card base. That fraying is because my blade was old and needs changing and I was quickly cutting. So I'll just get rid of that. So we've got the basic done there. Now we'll color this um, we don't need to color the skirt, but we'll just do some coloring of the books with some stamping blends. I'm picking some colors. Have you got some suggestions? Work this out. So I'm keeping it pretty simple. So this is petal pink, light petal pink I'm using. And um, maybe I'll pick some I'll go over this with the dark petal pink. Maybe a nice uh, green as well would be nice. So go with mint macaron. Might be drying out my mint macaron. And we'll go with there. more softer uh, softer colors I've just gone for 
and we'll get the eye ivory for the skin tone and then we'll try and match it with stamping blends um, um, the more you go over it it'll get darker it's the same with stamping same with stamping red markers but you can blend these more and we'll bring in misty moonlight um, just to tie in with our, that's night of navy, very easy to mistake, you can see how very much alike they are, um, maybe we'll go with a misty moonlight box lid, a white box, and maybe a misty moonlight ribbon. I might just do a few dots like that. Stamping blends are fun. They're just easy to color with. And this is the dark petal pink. evening evergreen that won't go I was just trying to get the black for the shoes maybe maybe we'll see what color is this this is smoky slate I think yeah we'll see okay. we could have gone misty moonlight but I just decided to be different all right so now when we assemble this I will go um, just add some dimensionals at the bottom so that's the bit that's going to stick up a bit and maybe a little bit of glue at the top now if you find that you can see a little bit of the skirt from under you can always touch it up with your stamping blends but I don't think it's necessary So the Delivering Chair stamp set is retiring, um, so that's available to the third or while supplies last on that. This cork paper, if um, it was one of my top five from the catalogue, I absolutely love it um, and definitely I would uh, recommend it. Um, it has so much texture on it, um, just really, really pretty, um, definitely worth getting it. Um, let me just move that. Um, so I'll cut that out with the tailor-made tag dies. Um, you get uh, six on six dot, six tags, I think, in that, or could be nine. Um, but you get a good variety with different sizes, and um, they work really, really well. Those tags. Um, we'll just cut a length of ribbon. This is petal pink ribbon, so I chose that to match with my. Uh, mat there on the back please ask me any questions um, if you need um, like what, what I'm doing or for measurements or anything like that please ask me so I've just pulled that both pieces both ends through to the back and then I'm just gonna pull those through the loop at the front to form that little tag so this could be a tag but I'm using it the tag on a card so use some dimensionals for your tag 
you can stamp on this uh, cork uh, pa specialty paper but no, I think it's reduced I'm not sure but I think I'm putting it just a, a little bit off center and then a few more dimensionals here just gonna be like that so she looks lovely with all kinds of colors there they not necessarily Christmas but works really well and I actually had a little strip of cardstock which I forgot I want to insert under which we can still I'm just gonna put that in like that so let's make this a birthday card because she's carrying a bunch of gifts and I'm picking the happy birthday from the Blossoms in Bloom stamp set which is another great stamp set for um, sentiments I really like all the sentiments and they're nice and slim and they fit in, in um, most projects I'm gonna stamp this which if it wants to come up it's getting, getting stuck to that one okay so in tuxedo black I'm stamping towards the right oh, maybe not yeah. towards the right I will trim that edge off gonna snip that off then I'll lift her up mm. if I'm within the camera there I think I am and I'll just that might just be it uh -huh. And I'm just going to trim that off there. Try to make that straight. And I'm just going to glue that down because we've got quite a bit of dimension on that. And, um, that's just basically gonna sit there I might leave that on the corner there as I see it is so it just matches up with the rest of it that's fine now for some um, added embellishment I will use the square gems which is in the in colors and I think that Misty Moonlight will go really well with this project so I will include this um, in your kits uh, with any order over $60 all your embellishments uh, everything like that will be included I just said the only thing is if some of those retiring products are uh, unavailable or any of our products are unav unavailable I will swap them out and give you something um, e of equivalent like with embellishments and things like that you will require your stamp sets and um, uh, to do your projects but or you can use something you already have that's our first card and that uses that beautiful designer series paper and we can decorate that as well with um, 
the designer series paper and it's a good way of using up your paper so we'll do that envelope at the back and I like the, um, the little polka dots on the skirt and it's just another way of um, uh, decorating your um, adding your own touch to a skirt or you could uh, even stamp flowers or anything like that to a skirt to match your projects or your gift maybe that you're giving someone and then we just cut around that So that's a cute little um, card to give someone and you've got a nice coordinated envelope as well. So that's our first project using the Delivering Cheer stamp set. Just give me one moment to clear up my mess. I've been cleaning out my craft room, I tell you what. Um, I've got a new cupboard and I've been moving things from the old cupboard don't even realize what you have do you I'm finding things oh thanks Alana you like uh, the idea for the dots with the skirt just something um, which you can then you don't need any particular type of paper or anything like that you can make it your own This is my favorite. I love all the vintage style stamps when stamping up, bring them out. I always keep them. Got a stash of them here. Okay, next one is going to be, and um, this is a quick card, um, using the Happy Holidays. Oh, sorry, I moved that camera. Happy Holiday stamp set, um, uh, which uh, predominantly is a Christmas stamp set. Um, I am going to be using that for you, but the bird you can really um, change that up and make make it any season. And it is a really sweet bird, so I thought I'll show you something with that. Again, I'm, uh, I'm going to be using, again, that uh, paper, designer series paper, which I uh, spoke about the Harvest Meadow designer series paper. Um, I've got a soft succulent card base. Trying to see whether this um like sometimes it's a bit fuzzy isn't it the internet i know it's dodgy sometimes so we'll, and i know i have another piece for the sentiment so we're first going to stamp this bird early espresso ink someone said it was a robin I don't know my birds but possibly it can be whatever you like when you change the color I'm using very vanilla cardstock don't use very vanilla much 
I thought it went well with this particular card. So early espresso I've stamped in. Uh, I'm going to colour the bird in very quickly uh, with the uh, pale papaya stamping blends, the light and dark. I've got dark sour saffron and a touch of the dark crumb cake. I um, did a very quick colouring job before and it doesn't have to be very detailed, just adding colour quickly. I even thought about, you can leave it as is, it goes well with the um, card. So that's light pale papaya. bring in my dark daffodil delight and always blending in that the color you've added in earlier That's it for my colouring. You can put more detail if you want. I did a very quick job on that. And it doesn't have to be detailed. The stamp is quite like has all the details, so you're just adding a bit of shading. So that's crumb cake. I've added. Just gonna fussy cut this. And this is uh, quite quick to fussy cut. If you wanted to do it on a label, you can, then you don't have to fussy cut it. Now you can add any of these clearance rack products or any of the last chance items into a starter kit pack. So you, that is an option for you. $169 and you get to pick $235 of product. You, in that you can also add product from our brand new catalog if you order now. So then you don't have to wait until the 4th to order um, from the new catalog if you get a starter kit now. Um, that's basically the $169. It's free postage. And you also get 20% off all your orders. So the brand new catalog has got lots and lots of lovely product in it. So that's that done. Now I have got again a piece of this um, cork paper and before I do that I'm going to stamp my sentiment on it which is the for you and we'll do it in early espresso. section pick a section that has as much um, detail on it and then it'll be fine I'll show you what I made earlier so I'm just matting that onto another piece of soft succulent
glue this on. I like the script on this uh, paper. It's just got so much nice texture on it. Um, just a pretty piece. Next we'll add a bit of this beautiful ribbon. Now this is retiring. It's a diamond weave ribbon. It's almost crochet like look. And it's really nice. And that's, that's probably why I chose the very vanilla paper to cardstock to stamp on. I'm just adding some tear and tape to attach the ribbon. So you'll never see that stamp how I stamped on the other section. Take some dimensionals, I'd add four probably, and we'll see how, maybe I'll add one in the center. This adds extra stability on that. And we'll put that at an angle. some dimensionals on our bird as well. So anything that looks like it's going to fold over, I've just added a little bit of dimensional so it, um, it doesn't bend. Especially if you store it in a box or something, it has a tendency <coughs> to fold over. Okay. So we've got our bird there and for embellishments. I'm using the garden gems now this is part of the Eden's garden collection this will be retiring so the Eden's garden collection is available until the 3rd of January the stamp and the dies will carry over but the bundle itself uh, like all the ex extra bits like the designer series paper and the embellishments will not be so this is part of that collection I'm just wondering um, they're really pretty something a little bit different wondering how to attach this. I use the other ones on my sample cards so I thought I'll use this. Maybe I'll use this one here. Um, no, I'll put them in a straight there. Decided against that. So the same way you can decorate an envelope, I won't show you that again, but you can use the same paper to decorate that. And now my sample is, this is the back of that paper. And what happened was it was meant to be the same, but I accidentally put, put the glue on the other side and it worked because the bird was in yellow. So it did work. And, um, so what what do you prefer yeah um, that's the good thing with double-sided paper you can pick and choose um what you like i can see um it's missing one of my 
the dots, so I'll add another one there. And um, and that's the two different uh, gems as well, so I've used the different versions on that. That's the next card. Again, I will be using um, the same designer series paper as I mentioned, the Harvest Meadow designer series paper. So I know this is available and it is half price. So um, it's a really good value. You get 12 sheets of 12 by 12, double sided. Now, so this is, I'll show you what we're making so you have an idea what's happening so this is the fancy fold we're going to be doing and it opens like that so got a few bits and bobs here so you bear with me and somehow i'm not cut my i thought i had cut my designer series paper Something goes wrong, doesn't it? So let's cut up the designer series paper. Uh, I did a massive clear out and I put it away, which is not good, but that's okay. I might have it here. I think I just got excited and I got clear, started clearing up. There we are. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So first thing, this is this piece of this is a regular card base, right? And the designer series paper I've cut down, so this is the back of it, 9.9 um, .9 by 14.2. So I'm going to stick this quite well. Normally I would add glue just around the corners. I'm going to add a little more um, just to make sure it is stuck on. I'm speaking to I'm going did I bring the dies let's keep all our bits together so this is the piece I have cut from the stitch rectangle dies I'm just going to get my dies because I need that again It's, we'll cut um, we need that same size so I've got that I'm gonna cut that from the middle of that cardstock so thus far we've just um, glued that onto there cutting machine placing an order tonight and I will be adding new plates onto my um, order desperate for um, some new plates they overwork these ones okay, so just add some washi um, to hold it down because you don't want it to move my stitch rectangle is has been through the ringer so I'll run that through and I'll run it through I'm just going to stand up to get this done um, we'll run it through a couple of times because it is running through um, paper and uh, cardstock and the only reason this is a bit tight on my machine is because my um, plates are a little bit bent Thank you. 
should do well, that should pop out quite um, easily if it doesn't we can run it through again I use whatever size rectangle because then you'll just cut a, the same thing in white or whatever your insert is going to be. Okay, so you can use this for something else. of basic white card stock so these are the measurements it's 19.6 by 14.2 and I'm gonna score it at 5 9 and 14 centimeters on the long side so make sure you put your cutting blade up there so five centimeters nine centimeters and 14 centimeters then you will fold, burnish them so along the score lines so your first fold is gonna be that So it goes a mountain, mountain, and valley, right? So it's gonna stick like that. So the easiest way is to put a bit of glue on this side. I found this was <coughs> worked the best for me. And you basically know where you want it to sit there. And that's how your card's going to fold, right? So make that straight. Then this is going to sit like that. So I'll just nicely um, make sure that's stuck on. And then that's going to sit like that. So we'll just put a bit of glue there. And a touch of glue there and some glue along the bottom there but when I stick it down I'm just gonna flatten that actually so put it down like that so to make sure your card is going to fold otherwise you might have trouble I find that the easiest way to So that's your basic um, the bottom bit the base done and the next is the attachment of this but before I attach it I'm going to do some stamping on it using this gorgeous leaf stamp set now this is another one that of my favorites um, um, that um, is retiring along with the matching the intricate leaves dies this is beautiful I just love all those little extra bits there um, those background the splatters and it's just a beautiful um, stamp set so I'm going to use dimensionals they're everywhere um, that image and some polished pink hi Nicole you're waiting to get your booster is it a long wait? I've got a I think I have to wait another month or so before I can get mine. 
thanks for watching so um we're set polish pink we're just gonna stamp off and uh, i love splatters they're awesome we just create a bit of a background right then i am going to take um some soft sea foam i'm going to take the dark off the soft sea foam and there's a re the reason is I'm tying it in with my leaves and things which I'm using later. But I'm going to uh, add some little dots. So add them in kind of threes. Then they are random. Um, you can add some larger. So you're getting a little bit of green in there. my chamois the chamois are really um, um, good value they're like I think they're $14 there and then you just wash in water um, and easy to clean out I didn't clean the bird before so I thought I'd better do that now all right so next we'll take our the nature's harvest stamp set I'm going to use that image and I might use that this block Oops, sorry um, and we're going to use cinnamon cider stamp on just stamp off first so ink it up stamp off I, I use full strength there but I think it might be nicer a little bit stamped off right. I don't know why I stamped it on that never mind we'll stamp <laughs> a momentary lapse of concentration I'm supposed to stamp on another piece of cardstock. That's okay. We can just attach our piece right on top. Does that happen to you? Busy chatting and just forget what you were doing. I'm going, why can't I see those flowers? I didn't have that trouble before. No because I was stamping on white that's why now we're going to colour that Ooh, a bit of a, some, um, stamping blend so I've got polish pink I have some soft sea foam um, I added a bit of just jade just uh, to bring the depth of colour out of it and um, so we'll start with light polished pink it's a pretty hot color but it works So I'm just using the light one still and just going around the flowers. Um, we'll add some shading in. How you color with stamping blends is purely your choice. You can start with the dark um, of the shade, the dark of the shade, or the lighter one. Um, 
I was watching uh, CEO Sarah Douglas the other day and she starts with the darker ones. So I thought, hmm, maybe I should do that. She said there's no right or wrong way, so she'd know. Now we'll bring in the dark and um, closer to the center, that's where I'm going, but just do what how you feel that that color should be. I'm sure there's a correct way of how the light falls and things, but it's just adding some interest and shading. We'll go back with the light, blend that color in, and I just pull that into that top section, even though I'm going to color that with a bit of so saffron. I like to show you all this. Um, sometimes I do pre prepare some things, but if I color everything, then it's hard for you to. If you have questions, um, it's hard to learn as well. So that's why sometimes I do it all live. There is a color lifter as well with the stamping blend, so you can buy the color lifter. And that uh, basically, there's several uses for it. Um, you can add um, light to it, so you can pull back the color where you think there'd be some sunlight or a, a lighter sh shade. Or if you make a mistake, if it goes out the line, and you did it, not that it matters, but if you wanted it within the line, you can uh, lift the color there that has happened. I've got a birthday card um, list out. Um, I'm, I'm updating my birthday card uh, listing. So um, I will put that up again um, so you can fill in your birthday. And um, I've got a voucher there available for use until the 31st of December as so a thank you for filling it out. On your birthday, I will send you a card, a birthday card, and treat you to something special. So. Um, if you would like to, please complete that and it's there's no obligation, it's just something totally free and just my, my way of giving back to you and I am a card maker, that's my main joy so I, I'd like to send out as many cards as I can next year so please feel free to fill that out it, as I'm trying to do it within Australia so that it's just easier and um, not so dependent on uh, I guess the mail and things like that and if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter please do so as well because then you'll get those updates uh, through there as well and I do put tutorials up on there so. now that's done our coloring is done what we'll do is um, die cut that. <coughs> so that's our die for that. This um, this bundle is carrying over, so you can still get it in the new catalog. I'm not sure that it is going to be at the bundle price so that I'm not I'm not certain generally they don't carry over at the bundle price the bundle will save you 10% so if you want to get that um, you're probably best getting it now
this is a nice um i like that polished pink on those flowers they're pretty so now where's that one i got up well here it is here it is oops dropping everything okay there we want another thing once we put that there all good so for this piece now we have to attach uh, this so that it's gonna form like a little peekaboo effect so we're gonna nicely crease that and you're gonna see that crease is there don't worry that'll get covered so we're gonna stick we only need to stick that right hand section on if you can see that division there so just because your um, um, die is the same size that's easy so just put your glue there stick it right there and that's your fun fold so that opens like that and I just left that fun fold today so it is easy it's really cute and it's it's not too tricky um, so definitely give it a try uh, and you can watch this video over and over again so I'll put, put it up on you've got it on Facebook but I'll also have it up on YouTube by tonight later on tonight so and the sun's fun force can be like brain exertion but I like this just nice and easy I don't do the brain exertion ones. And we'll put one there. in case I can cut that off you can use many dimensionals too that um, I've just got these handy so I thought I'll use the ends pre-cut a little um, label now that is from also from these dies the nature's harvest dies um, I'm just gonna get the sentiment and I'll make a thank you card thank yous are always good aren't they you have a I like the font in this set um, with this one sending healing thoughts um, may nature's beauty bring peace to your soul I did cut that off so I could just, just use the top you can put them together so um, a reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others good luck so, um, some nice sentiments there Pick our cinnamon cider again and stamp the sentiment. Close the glue. I'm stamping in full strength. 
ideally you probably want to stamp first and then die cut this uh, label then you can work around it but I just wanted to save some time And if you order my card club or class in the mail, I give you all these little bits um, that sentiment pieces and you just have to stamp on them and it's all ready to go. Now, um, for this piece, I went ahead and um, colored it with a, a soft sea foam stamping blend, just a light uh, color. Thanks Nicole, you like the colours? It's funny, like, I wouldn't have generally put that together and I, the pink just worked um, with that bumblebee. Um, so I, I quite was surprised myself with that colour color scheme. So I'm colouring this with soft sea foam, I think. No, I am not. I lie. That's mint macaron. Fuck me. <laughs> I don't believe a word I say. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like soft sea foam. So, okay, we'll do it with soft sea foam just to tie in with the colours we have used before. And you can stamp it on a piece of soft sea foam cardstock. I like sometimes doing this because it gives you a more muted tone. And you can then add shading as well to your piece. If you want the bottom darker, you can add some shading. Add some dimensionals. I'll definitely definitely be doing more cards with um, this fold. It's uh, nice and easy. Actually, um, Ange McKay from um, Canada, I learned this for, from her. Um, and I like much how she does that. Um, now, for embellishments, I'm going to use this MAC decorative dots. This is from the pl uh, pets, the stockings one, the stockings with the pets, with the cat and dog. Um, it, the name is escaping me right now but it's part of that suite now last check that is still available um, those dies and stamps um, are reduced as well and they are retiring um, so if you thought they were super cute um, and great for Christmas and for dog lovers cat lovers they are still available as of this, this afternoon and these are those embellishments so you get them in tones of red the yellows you can mix them now this these greens I probably could have used they are old olive but this it's the lighter shades would work um, this has this goes into the blues even but that's evening of a green so that is your card I would probably do a little bit of stamping with, oops a runaway point stage stamp on the envelope and let's just do the outline of the flower All right. to finish that off so it stands really nicely you've got plenty of space to write if you don't want so much space to write just decorate that with a strip or some stamping then you don't have to write so much there you go and I've got one more for you so just bear with me while I clean this up ask me any questions if you want to know about the new catalog um, just 
um, want me to send you out one, please um, ask me. It's free of charge. I send them out um, because it, it's uh, important that you have that to look at. It's better than a online, I find. Um, always nice to have something to look at. For our last card, it's, um, I'm going to be using this gorgeous leaves bundle, which was, um, and the intricate leaf stamp, um, dies, so, and these on it, um, not on it, adorning masks, so there's four masks, this is one of them, and these are retiring, so it is a farewell, um, party, I guess, for our, um, some of our favorites so I've got a pool party card base and I've die cut some pieces earlier save some time so this is a label from this color contours die that's from our dies that's from our annual catalog I have cut a piece of um, harvest meadow designer series paper just to fit in that um, and that's the other side of that so I'm using that side this is the tasteful label size now if you haven't got this um you might like to consider that one um this is in our annual catalog and it carried over from our previous catalog um it's one i use all the time so um it's a great little um set so i'm going to be using pool party and some Mm, uh, a blending brush and we're going to add some blending over uh, masking over this so just ink up tap off excess over that just to create a little bit of a background to this piece you can like hold that down and maybe mask that onto your piece I'm not worrying it's just a little piece but you can do that to stop it shifting So it's just <laughs> and I dropped the blending brush right on top um, so that just adds a little bit of interest on that the piece again I've got that cork paper and some calypso coral and white so I'm gonna need this again uh, gorgeous leaves so I'm going to be using this leaf and we'll stamp it in um, pool party then I've got my best year stamp set this is another one which is great um, for sentiments and I've just got the hello I was I picked this because I wanted it to fit on the leaf sometimes you do work around with how you want your design stamp the hello in night of navy and we'll stamp it right on that leaf now 
these are the intricate dies I was talking about. It's got a nice lot of leaves. Um, some are full images, some are more detailed, like um, leaves. So they cut really nicely. And um, they work well with that stamp set. So I'm going to be using these. I will cut this out and I'll cut one out of this with this same die and then we'll cut a more intricate one out of the Calypso Coral. So we'll bring our die cutting machine in. So these dies would work with your mini stamping cut and emboss machine. If you have the catalog anywhere where you see mini, um, that, that means those embossing folders or those dies work with that machine. Yeah. So I'll put that in there. This one in there, and we can do those two at the same time. That cork paper definitely worth um, looking at. Um, as I said, it was the, my top five in the catalog. Just love, love, love that paper. You can see that, and then you've got this. That. Now we'll die cut the other one we stamped out. So what we'll do is stick this down firstly before I do that I'm gonna um, get this ribbon in and with this ribbon this is also part of that playful I'm getting the name wrong the pet sweet the one with the stockings uh, sweet stockings that's it playful pets is another This is pool party ribbon and that's retiring as well so the entire suite is retiring. So I'll bring that round like that. And then we'll stick that down. It's a very sweet ribbon and I think it's really nice on uh, baby cards uh, as well. It would make nice wedding cards. It's just a um, very soft look. That oh, ribbon's a bit wonky but that's okay. Then I'm going to glue that down here on my card base. Now we'll 
with this I'm gonna trim that section on my trimmer I just want a straight cut along the edge um, so we'll put that again so you can hand uh, cut it as well that's just gonna get hidden under there I haven't done many balls today, have I? Not like me. Get a glue dart, take your ball to it. That's the easiest way to stick them or pick up the glue dots. They stick everywhere. That one's not wanting to play today. Why is that? There we are. And I'll put another one under. So it doesn't move. So that's under that piece. Next, I'm going to arrange my um, leaves. So you, you can use your fine tip glue pen or you can use this. Just dot it. Some mini glue dots. Not mini glue dots. Um, it's okay. We'll just use these. Cut these up. Then we'll add some of the these other two leaves. And just adding that um, cork the leaf in the cork paper it just adds some extra texture and interest in that brown tones and then our sentiment on the leaf is just something a little bit different embellishments I'm going to use the holiday rhinestones uh, which um, have that night of navy now these are in our annual catalog they're not retiring but um, they have different colors I'll show you and they do pick up um, the colors around them but I've used night of navy on the sentiments I thought it was um, nice So that it comes in that range of colors so you could go with the pool party as well if you like and to finish up i would probably let's try this um go with a bit of um a bit of masking um with our stamping blend, uh, not stamping blend, blending brush. And you could even do it on the envelope flap if you wanted to, so that it ties in. It doesn't have to go right to the end, but it just adds a little bit there. carry it over a bit but maybe I'll carry it over 
let's see how I can um, match it up. We can match it up. Do, 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 do here. That's a bit better, so it's not too even. Okay, that's our last card done. any questions please ask me I will probably put this up I will be putting this up on my blog in the next couple of days so you can get the measurements on there um, so make sure you subscribe there so you get that um, this was oh, that was my first card I did but that's the one we did today delivering chair stamp set so four different cards all using the same designer series paper so you get a lot of variety from that paper um, I want to use some of it so you can see what you can do with it and I hope you have enjoyed that I'll have the products up um, so you can uh, place your orders um, if you would like me to order for you please just contact me or email me uh, you can phone me as well uh, just remember that the retiring products are available while supplies last so um, if there's anything that really catches your fancy um, uh, get that on your list straight away um, and um, any questions don't hesitate to ask me if you would like a catalog please um, uh, leave a comment or text me and I will get one out to you okay thanks so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this class um, orders can be placed until Sunday so um, any orders over $60 you will get the uh, cardstock envelopes and um, designer series paper if they run out I will uh, substitute um, to make the cards you will need your own stamp sets and um, ink to complete the cards um, any orders of $100 you will receive a pack I will add on a pack of the holiday rhinestones for you so that's the ordering special uh, that is available until Sunday. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Um, hope to see you soon. Bye.